Vivitrac comes in a medical clean packet that looks like this. When you take it out of the packet, you will notice that the USB cord is attached to the device. You will notice the stainless steel blade and the channel on the right. To load it, you take a endotracheal tube, you lube it quite uh, generously through the balloon and all the way to the marker. To insert it, you turn the tube 90 degrees and put it into the tube channel. You let the channel guide where the tube is going to go. The proper alignment of the tube is to be at the distal end uh, tip of the device. You plug it in, and you can plug in the USB cable to any USB port. Here I'm plugging it into an extension cord, USB extension cord of the Vivision tablet, which is ours. As soon as you plug it in, you will see that the image comes up on the screen. While looking in the patient's mouth, holding the device with the index finger on the top of the device, the thumb on the back, and your middle and ring finger on the front of it, on the blade part, uh, you put the blade facing straight down into the patient's mouth. You place it such that the body of the Vivitrac device is resting on the patient's chin, and you want it quite snug on the patient's chin. In that position, following the natural curvature of the roof of the mouth, you insert the device into the mouth. As soon as the cord comes into view, you take your right hand with your um, endotracheal tube. If you need to, you turn it counterclockwise to turn the tip to the left, and you intubate. As soon as you see the balloon go through the cords, you want to release the ET tube by pulling it forward and to the right. You hold the tube onto the right, and to release the Vivitrac device, you reverse the process of insertion, just like that then you can blow up your balloon and secure your airway. As you can see, this should take no more than a few seconds.